all right guys and gals welcome back to dark souls 2 walkthrough with the x build um yeah let's uh rest in the bonfire oh snap i forgot we gotta go and level up yeah that's what we gotta do we gotta level up um this video might be might be a short video okay uh because the boss is right there and we can also summon Benhart for this fight too, so yeah, that's also going to help us out. And also, the boss is weak to lightning. If you guys got some gold pine resin, that's going to help out a lot. And where am I going? To see, however. Now, I can't really like tell if the boss's attack is like, is it lightning attack or is it magic attack? It looks like lightning but well, I think it's magic it's blue I don't know but yeah I, I can't really tell and let's distribute the points oh we're short 100 I think I'm gonna use up a soul here uh, oh also upgrade our Estus we only need one more um Hang on, where... Where is it? I need a hundred souls, please. Did I get 50? Okay. Use one more. Alright, that's gonna cover it. And we can level up once more. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> 77. I need to use one more of those little... Souls. Oh uh, yeah. Um, if you guys wanna keep a PVP stats, you might wanna stop at 150. Okay. Uh, that's where most of the community is stopping. Now I don't know if the games like I don't know how it works on NG Plus. I'm not really sure, but I think it's about soul level. It's either soul level or soul memory. I know um, for NG, NG is just soul soul memory. I don't know if NG plus. Uh, I don't know about the soul memory for NG plus. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if soul. Like NG plus counts towards soul level or soul memory. Some people on the forums, uh, on game facts, they say that. Uh, on NG plus when you invade people or when people invade you it's around the same level uh, that's how they that's how they scaled it I'm not really sure of that uh, can, if anyone can confirm this can let me know on the comments cuz I'm not really sure about the the soul level thing cuz none of my friends has entered NG plus so I don't know all right so in this part we're gonna be Heading up. That door is not gonna open, so we gotta go up and we gotta open it ourselves. Hey, with that, we got the black bow. Uh, yeah, let's give this boss a bit of cheesing. It's a really long elevator. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna be pretty boring sliding back down. Alright, we can just open up this door. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping I could roll through, but it didn't work. And we're pretty. We're, we're pretty. We're pretty close to the katana we wanna get. Okay, the key to the King's Passage. That's what we're going to be taking on today. Uh, we also got some spells going on here. We got the Soul Vessel, the Fire Seed. And uh, a spell is right here. I can't remember what spell this is. Strong Magic Shield. After we defeat the boss, there is also a kind of hidden. The, the spell is kind of hidden. Uh, if you don't check around, you're going to miss that. You're going to miss that treasure. I missed it for two playthroughs already 
uh, my main character is on NG++ and even that I missed it <laughs> yeah and I had to go back and look for it but yeah it's it's really easy to miss if you're not careful it's so shower I believe or was it so I think so bolt something like that not really sure what it was. so something that's I know that that for sure so something <laughs> yeah all right if you're human you can summon Ben Hart for this fight okay but first we gotta get through around four statue knights these guys from from the trailer of Dark Souls before they come alive you can KO them we do this quick enough I usually fuck up on this one there's also one more on the side but yeah if you don't kill them all quick enough you could just run back here nope uh, these guys cannot be poisoned so don't bother gotta try and duke it out with them These like twin twin blade users, damn they they got some fancy schmancy skills right here. The moves are all like it's like there's they spin the twin blades and then they kick. <laughs> oh no, I, I think twin blades are pretty cool, but I never actually used one myself, so I don't know if they're good or not. It just looks pretty good when when you use it in combat. But I don't. I kind of feel like it'll be weak. I I could be wrong. I'm most likely wrong here. I feel like it'll be weak because you're spinning it super fast, and it's damage after damage. So I feel like it'll be a bit weak. So it won't be as OP, you know. I don't. Know, that's the way I feel. But I'm most likely wrong about that. And we can put away the bow. Alright, if you guys want the Ben Hart trophy, you're gonna have to summon him three times and he cannot die during those three, so this is gonna be the second one. And right off the bat the mirror knight is gonna Or the looking glass knight, whatever. It's gonna do a leaping attack on him, so be careful. I want him to hold still before I start using my spells. Or pyro. Be careful, his shield can deflect magic. If you're trying to like throw a shield or a miracle at him and it hits a shield um, the miracle or the miracle or spell you throw at him it's gonna be good ow should have known better is he only gonna come after me if he is this is, this is gonna be pretty easy I mean Ben Hart can just do all the damage and I'll just be chilling on the side Is he really just gonna come after me? No? Okay. Yeah, uh, I was trying to switch this for something. Oh shit. Alright, when he does the stats, is he gonna summon? Should probably put my gold pine resin and I even have one. I only have one. Right, I'm gonna dispatch the phantom. Hopefully it doesn't hit me during the process. Right, I'm just gonna two-hand this thing. My dual wielding is not that great at the moment. Yeah, it does pretty good damage if you're using some lightning damage. I mean lightning damage, light, lightning attacks. For you miracle user, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Just make sure your um the miracle you're using doesn't hit the shield or else it's gonna bounce off.
That attack you can dodge it by moving far, far away from it. Shit, Ben Hardy's gonna go down. No, 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 no. No, bitch. <laughs> Woo! Damn, Ben Hardy almost went down. Alright, the looking, looking glass knight is so. Yeah, he has. Uh, he doesn't have that much move. He has his three hit combos. Sometimes he'll put a w two hit. Uh, rarely he'll do one hit. He has a leaping attack. Uh, he has shield. He has a summoning phantom. That if you're playing online, he can summon like real players. Be careful. Uh, he has a charging, plunging attack. I mean, charging uh, thrust attack. So he'll run towards you and he'll stab. He did. He performed it during this fight. You can dodge it, or you can just block it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, he also has this rare four hit combo, so be careful. Uh, he'll swing, he'll do his original swings, and then after, like, towards the end, he's gonna do, like, a, a, a thrust attack like that, okay? So be careful. But before we take this elevator down to the next part, don't forget about this chest, okay? It's gonna contain a, a magic, a sorcerer. Sorcery, uh, spell Quas Ring 2, Soul Bolt, and uh, 3 Bonfire Aesthetics. Yeah, it's easy to miss because it's like with the chest, it's all it's like an iron chest and you can barely see it. Like you walk in here, you gotta look around, and then you're gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah. But that's gonna cover it for the Looking Glass Knight. And in the next video, uh, we will most likely obtain the katana we want, but we're gonna have to kill the boss of this area first though And it shouldn't be that long There is three bonfire checkpoints if you include this one. It'll be two bonfire checkpoints, so It's not that long. There's a lot of mages here, and they got some like crazy ass uh, homing homing soul arrows, so be careful But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the King's Passage and the Looking Glass Knight. And the next bonfire is just right here. Bonfire. Also, there's a... Is it right here? No, it's not. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Let me just grab up this secret right here. Uh, there was a, there's a soul right there. Like, there's a body right there. Let me just equip back my bow here. Uh, we can drop down and get that item. You're not gonna be able to grab it. You're not gonna be able to grab it when the body's hanging there, so don't even bother trying. Now, be careful about these guys, because instead of uh, poison, they will spew out acid now, so. And that's gonna damage equipment if you stay in the acid for too long. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up with this video. Uh, yeah. Just get back to the bonfire so I can end my video. Yeah, kind of. It's a pretty short video. But, anyways, guys and gals, I hope this video has helped y'all uh, on getting through the King's Passage, which is just like a pretty easy stretch. It's just like, it's just run, you just run straight to the boss fight. That's, that's pretty much the King's Passage. Uh, yeah. But anyways, I hope this video has helped you guys out on the Looking Glass Knight, aka the Mirror Knight. And join me next time when I take on the Shrine of Amana. Yeah, uh, I will see you guys then, Holmes.